Hey guys, I wanted to show something real quick. Uh, it's about um, the waterfall and um, getting the wet water to be two phases, uh, basically set up an airfield. And uh, yeah, there is this airfield functionality, but it can be done faster in a more controllable way. Uh, and just for me to, to learn things, it was fun uh, to play with it over the weekend. So the blue stuff here is the water which is following the uh, flip simulation and the red stuff is uh, particles which are kind of around it and going up in the air and uh, having some uh, turbulent and some fluid motion um, which is driven by another scene, a smoke scene. So that's how it looks in the white water simulation. Um, there is a, that's the smoke part in here and um, the particles part in here. Um, the main point is that you know particles are emitted, you know as usual. Uh, the position of them is blurred in the beginning, so there can be plenty of particles which are outside of the flip fluid. And then you can use the attribute from volume uh, to sample the surface field from the flip simulation, and then say, okay, the ones which are um, have negative value are inside, the ones which have positive values are outside and uh, create an attribute from that and this attribute can be used to uh, then run uh, two advect by volumes and one of them uh, can get the velocity from the uh, smoke object which has the surface more than uh, zero uh, which means outside of the water surface and the other one which has the surface zero uh, has is getting the velocity from the flip and the smoke solver is being seeded with the uh, kind of a simple source from the which is derived from the flip um, both of them getting collided with the collision object and that's it um, just so uh, source wise maybe first the um, collision geometry um, it's nice to set up a procedurally designed ground so you can get a lot of variations faster and also get some very narrow uh, to test and then expand it or, or the uh, scan stuff and this is built just by putting points on a, on a plane and um, scattering boxes with different you know attributes um, and the um, emitter of the flip is uh, made by getting the initial geometry of the plane and only using the first couple of primitives putting some points on them, projecting them downwards and creating the field from these uh, eventually filling it up with some noise for the initial velocity and The flip simulation is pretty basic, nothing really to showing there, um, just the geometry and, uh, and the sources for the velocity and the uh, uh, particles and the solver, um, then casing, uh, compressing and caching, um, and then design a couple of sources, one for the smoke uh, simulation and one for the uh, particles. So the smoke simulation is using the pyro source to create some Um, yeah, the attributes on the um, on the particles, um, just like it's done in the, the in the demos, and the rasterize to get the fields, the density, the velocity, and the temperature fields, and send these to the smoke scene. The white water emitter is using the Bautist channel uh, to uh, emit from that and some. Add new velocities added on the on the particles just because you want them to fly off in some unexpected directions. If everything is going on down just like it was in the flip sim, you're not going to get much excited white water. Uh, this is, uh, visualization was just to show me the numbers so I can see kind of inside and outside of the of the fluid what are the numbers. But that's basically it, and you know, kind of simple but uh, quite interesting. Thank you.